All right, coming up next, the wait is over for this heavyweight championship fight between Max Holloway and Tony Ferguson. All right, so here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, making the walk to the octagon here tonight. He is challenging the champion whom he has bad blood with, whom he believes he is better than. And obviously, as he makes the walk here tonight, he finally has the chance to prove that he and not the champion is the man who deserves the distinction as the baddest man on the planet. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. The champion is in focus. He is in his prime. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this camp has been absolutely spectacular. He believes he has a solid game plan, and his mentality coming into this fight is clear and focused. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Ferguson is seven years his senior. He will have a seven-inch reach advantage. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, three losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, presenting the challenger, Tony Alcacui. And now introducing the champion, this man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Waianae, Hawaii, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make all right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. You ready to fight? Ready. Scheduled for five rounds if need be. Effective strike there by Fergus. Wow, what a kick. Whoa, head kick. That shot blocked by Ferguson. Slips to avoid that left joke. He caught the kick. Catches the leg here and now goes for the takedown. It's there. 
beautiful elbow there. That was a hard elbow there by the champion. He's looking to attack off his back. There's a nice elbow off his back. Going to the body there with the right kick. Well, no issue finding his timing here. Nice series of strikes as he continues to land. Orthodox for much of the fight. He's going southpaw here, Joe. Oh, another head kick lands flush. He has got to start blocking these, Joe. One more, and he could be down on the canvas looking up at the lights. Holloway gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done oh, by the opponent. Me. Oh! Huge uppercut misses. Watch the shot here, Joe. Back to Orthodox. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Slips the shot, tags him with the left hand. Ferguson's cut is only getting... Whoa! The champ is in deep danger right now. He is desperately trying to hang on. He's got him hurt here. Oh, he's going for it here. Holloway going for the head kick here, but no setup whatsoever, Joe. So oh. not to do it. Man. Whoa! He's definitely blocked. Oh, he might be out. Nice leg kick. Jab there by Hollow. Nice. Both guys landing with conviction now. Oh, spinning back fist. Well, he lands another jab, really employing the jab He's effectively hurt. here. He is in big trouble here. He's wincing in pain. Boom. Shin to the dome. Oh, very nice. That shot blocked by Ferguson. Head kick. Tags him. He is going after it here. Clean jab. Oh, another one to the head by Max Blessed Holloway. Slips the left hand. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Oh, jumping knee. Big knee. Vicious combinations. Just misses there with the left. Look at that, right to the temple. Good shots by the champion. And now he rips the body. Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. El Cucuy gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Nice jab. Back and forth we go. Oh, beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Holloway gets back up again. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Ferguson gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Oh, and he continues to effectively employ that jab. High kick again. Goes upstairs for an elbow. El Kukui gets hit by that kick to the midsection, Joe. Oh, he got tagged. They may very well stop this fight. That cut on his cheek is really pouring blood. Holloway gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Oh, he caught him with an uppercut. Ooh, blocks the shot. Well, he has found his range early and often tonight. Another punch to the head by Ferguson. He can truly do it all. Oh, Round two is next. So there is the horn, and how about the appreciation from the masses in attendance tonight? Knockdowns on both sides. You don't see that every day. Really one of the better rounds we've seen here tonight. And here we go. Let's take a look at some of this action here. And here a big shot lands and a knockdown.
And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. Brittany Palmer is in the building. Round two is underway. This is going to become one of those things where you're just wondering what's, what's the opponent going to be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's going to win, but what's his opponent going to be able to do to him. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. He's really starting to connect Joe on a lot of these strikes to the midsection. Yep. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Really a, a Terminator quality, though, to Tony Ferguson. He eats these shots and just keeps moving forward. Ferguson's lower jaw could not look much worse, Joe. Extremely swollen at this point in time. We'll keep an eye on it as this fight moves forward. Oh, excellent exchange there. Good job there, keeping his hands up, obviously protecting that cut. So unguarded right into the pocket, and as such, he leans right into that uppercut, left the head wide open, and I'm not sure how many more of those jokes. Oh, flying knee! Oh, head kick! Man! Hurt him with that right! Holloway's overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one, and it gets blocked. There he swung with the haymaker. Oh, head kick! Oh, flying knee! Nice kick right there. Hit him with the jab. Oh! Kick to the body, he's hurt. He's trying to stay up. He is in big, big trouble. Elbow there, Joe. Yeah, oh. looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's rocked. Nice head kick. Whoa. Wow. Ferguson out on his feet. Big shot. Oh. Oh. And oh, just like that, the fight out. is over. KO by ground and pound. Yeah, Joe, that was some outstanding ground and pound to get the opponent out of there. He was throwing big shots there on the ground, man. Not just looking to score, but actually looking to end the fight and to make sure the judges stayed firmly out of this equation. Elbows, punches, hammer fists, everything seemed to be working for him here tonight. Let's check that out from a different angle. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Bang. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 19 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. He came in with the moniker of baddest man on the planet, and that is exactly the way he goes out. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight by way of the KO. And that's a big man celebrating with his team right now. Enjoy it, boys. You maximize the moment tonight. Thank <laughs> you. 